Hi, I'm Klaus Hermann, founder and editor of Farbspielfoto.com, where we make your photography simple. This tutorial video is an excerpt of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you have the unique chance of snatching both courses as a free bonus. Just stick around till the end of the video where I will tell you how. And now, have fun with the tutorial. So that was the lens correction tab. The next and final thing that I tend to do for my images is to add some effects. And in particular, I'm adding, I like adding vignettes to my images. Now a vignette is actually something that is produced by lenses mainly. It's a darkening of the corners and the edges of your frame. And you typically try to fight or to, to um, counter that effect in your post-processing. But in many situations, a, uh, darkening the edges and the corners of your image where nothing really important happens is a good way of directing your, uh, your, Im your viewer's eyes to the main parts of your image, to the subjects. Um, and it's a good way to create some intimacy. So some depth and a feeling of really being there. I, I'm not really sure why that is, but I, th I have a feeling that adding a vignette always brings me closer to the scene. And the way you do that in, in Lightroom is to open the effects panel and add a post crop vignette. So that's very convenient. It's something that you don't have in Photoshop, for example. In Lightroom, it's very convenient to do that. The first thing that you should do is to move the amount slider. Now you have two directions here, right and left. I wouldn't ever recommend you to do this, okay? Don't add a, a white vignette to your images. Not even a slightly white vignette. It doesn't, it just doesn't look good in the overwhelming majority of cases. If you're going for a particular effect, okay, but for your general photography, don't do it. You want to go to the minus direction because that darkens the edges. And you usually, values between minus 20 and minus 40 work pretty nicely. If you go beyond that, it's usually too heavy. Um, and then you should try those other sliders, the midpoint, for example. If you if you bring the midpoint slider all the way to the, to the left, the vignette closes on you, so to speak. So the, the vignette gets bigger, thicker, so to speak. So make sure that you don't move that in too far. The roundness slider, if you move that all the way to the right, to, sorry, all the way to the left, you're going to have a rectangular vignette. If you're going to move that to the right, you're going to have a circular, circular vignette. Okay, it's, it's on you to decide which looks best on your particular image. The feather slider um, controls how smooth the transition between the vignetted part and the non-vignetted part of your image gets. So drag that to the right to make it really, really smooth. If you drag it to the to the left, you see that you got a very harsh transition, not something that you should apply to your images. Make it as smooth as possible. I tend to go to the right side, somewhere in the 80, 70 to 90 region is, is good mostly. Then I come back here to the strength slider and really control how much vignetting I want to have in my images. Okay, I usually, I never use grain. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you're lucky. Because you can snatch your free copy of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop, and here's how it works. Simply head over to the link below where the 5 day deal team organizes the biggest bundle sale in the history of photography. It's running between September 10th and 15th, 2015. And this is your unique chance to get a huge bundle of high-class photography education and tools from the world's best photographers at an insane discount. No matter which type of photography you're into, this is the best investment you can make in your own photography. And in addition to that, you can even win over $50,000 worth in prizes. If you purchase the bundle through this link, I will send you the download links to my full personal workflow courses within 24 hours. But please do make sure that you use this link to start your checkout process for the bundle. Otherwise, I will not have your details and I cannot send you anything. So, I hope I'll see you for the 5-day deal event. Take care and have fun.